so we're going to make an animated GIF uh, from a sequence of still images using uh, Photoshop. I have these eight uh, still images in the iPhoto that I shot of a, the base of an escalator. Um, I'm going to grab these and put them into Photoshop. And it's going to open them. And um, they're now in, in the, right now we need to, the first thing we need to do is get them into one, they're all separate files, you can see them all, they're in a sequence, and there's probably a better way to do this, but I don't remember. So instead we're just going to, uh, we're going to add them all into one file, right? So we're going to take them, we're going to copy one, we're going to say Command A, copy, Command W to close it, and then Command V to paste it. Come on. Where'd you go? Didn't work. Let's try that again. Command A, copy, Command C, close, close, paste. There we go. That worked. And so now we have a couple layers, so it's one, two. Um, in fact, we'll do this this way. We're just going to grab each of these. This one. Let's close it. Let's go from the beginning. I'll make more sense. Seven, eight, seven, nine, eighty. So let's take this one. Do that. No. So we'll say Command A, Command Copy. Whoops, sorry, wrong one. Command A, Command C, and we'll go back to here. Paste. Next one. Here's the Command A, Copy. Back to here. Paste. Now I have three layers. Next one. Command A, Copy. Whoops. A, copy, paste. Four layers. Close that one. We'll do one more. And A, copy, paste. All right. So now we have this one. I don't want this one. Close. Don't say. All right. So now we have all these layers. We don't need adjustments. Let's close this. So I have five layers. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to look at a window, what's called the animation palette. All right, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And there's only one frame. And what we need to do is make uh, five frames, or however many frames, or for however many images you have. All right, so I'm going to say new frame and I have to do that a total of five uh, times three four five now it creates frames as layers but you don't have to worry about those so for the first one all, and now what we're going to do is going to turn all of them off except for the ones you want so for frame one we're going to have this background the only one visible so we'll turn off everybody else Okay, these frames we don't even need. So then we go to the next frame and we switch. We say that one's on. We go to the next one and we say that one's on. Only, whoops, wrong one. For the fourth one, we'll say layer three. And finally, for the fifth one, layer five. Okay, and now they're, they're uh, in sequence. And I can hit this play button. And it's not a perfect animation. Um, so I could I could look if I wanted to figure this out I could say here's a spot that goes a little higher I mean because the timing wasn't great this is where like if you go from video this and this are probably the same so maybe I could do this with just three frames instead two three so I'm gonna actually just delete these two frames and see what happens with doing it as these and we'll hit play all right, 
So it's working. Not the best animation in the world. Um, it's, it, it actually works a lot better if you work from video um, and you just import the frames. But uh, that's it. So now we have our frames. And what we're going to do is we're going to resize this because this is huge. If we go to the image size, image, image size. This is uh, 3,264 pixels by almost 2,500. That would be, you know, we were talking about widths already of like 580 for our blog. So even if we went to, we're going to go to 580 and say OK. Um, oops. And we're going to rescale this. You can see percentages up here. And I'm just using the equivalent of, I'm using keyboard shortcuts to use the magnifying glass. So this is actually the image full size. And so that's what it's going to look like in the look. Now, there's one other thing you can do is you can change timing. So if, let's say we wanted this to go slower. We can make these 0.2 seconds each. All right. And that kind of looks better, right, if we slow it down. And so I'll leave it at that. And it looks more continuous now. Um, so let's leave it at that so you can change the chiming and I think for, for other people you can make something pause too So if I change this to like two seconds, it would do now. That's not gonna work that this this story doesn't make sense to have a pause um, As much but uh, you know someone I saw is a, a student who's falling asleep and waking up and falling asleep and waking up It might be fun to have them asleep for a second then wake up really quickly And then fall back asleep and go back to sleep and then have them asleep for a full second and then they wake up so uh, changing the different uh, lengths of uh, timing is, is something you can play around with, all right? So when you're done, all right, so you've, you've you know, made your layers, made your frames, uh, set, uh, you've made each frame have just the layer you want visible. Um, you can now uh, save this for the web, so we go File, Save for Web and Devices. And uh, we have to make this a GIF, G-I-F, pronounced as in peanut butter GIF. That doesn't sound right, <laughs> but it is. And you get to see how big it is. It's a uh, half a megabyte, 595K. It's a little, it's about half a megabyte. And you want to make sure it's looping forever. And it tells you how many frames. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to say escalator, escalator. Um, and save it. And uh, you can check how it's doing uh, by opening it in a browser. And there you go. And you're going to embed this into a blog post. Um, if you want, you can go shoot again. So um, that's it for the video. So why don't you get started? I'll help you, but I'm also going to post.